Enemy champion deaths have a 30% chance to drop loot. So everybody has spoils of war pretty much. So early game I'm thinking pick up champions that do a lot of single target damage. That's what I'm thinking right now. Let's see what I hit in my early game board. Also, uh, so I hit plat. Right now, I'm just trying out new comps and practicing them right now because I'm at, like, if I go 8th place, I'm at 0 OP anyway. So, I've been trying to make a loon carry work still. I feel like you have to high roll extremely hard, and even then, the best is probably like a third place. Um, because she struggles to kill targets that keep healing back up. Obviously, the two that come to mind, Volibear and Yone. So honestly, it's it's pretty hard to make her work right now. But with that being said, I think I'm just gonna force it this game and try it again. Just keep on trying to play. Um, one of the worst three cost carries right now. I think her average placement at three stars only like 4.1 or something, which is not good for a three cost. Something that you can't win any games with her is just, it, it can be kind of difficult. Let's go for maybe like RE, double RE, two warden. The thing is like my spot with these items looks okay to player. Heavenly. That's the correct choice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna force on roll, reroll. Okay, the game started like bait me here by taking what doesn't kill you on a portal where, yeah, I'm good. Lucky streak maybe. I really just crab guarded. I have a Jax. I just want to kill as many units as possible, so let's just... Let's just like... Take our guard or something versus Jax. A little bit of damage. Double Ari. Arcanist, pretty good. So, okay, we have somebody with the Arcanist emblem. Gee, I wonder what comp this person's playing. Um, bow. Sniper looks like a Velios. Best friends. Stars are born, looks like Kog'Maw reroll. And... Scoreboard thing. This thing is. I'm pretty sure you play this with flex. Like, there's no specific comp for it. I could be wrong though. Jack's pretty tanky. Does decent amount of damage. Especially with Crown Guard. He didn't cast again. Okay, that that does that, that, that. Okay, that's that's just fight RNG. Um, I don't really think Dryad does anything. I mean, I could play like Kindred carry, but like maybe this. I'd rather I'd rather keep the Ari pair though.
Okay, careful, I'm gonna go for a rod. When you, when you play this comp, you just go for a rod. Hard forcing, even if it's not ideal. Out of complete and utter stubbornness. Cost rod. It's also an Umbral champion. I think the problem with the loon as well, like I think if you get the board, it's pretty good. The only problem is it's really hard to get there. And also, Umbral is just like, like a whatever trait. Let's see if I can hit the board without bleeding out too hard. I want to make 20, I also want to keep this York. So if I lose this fight... Like, oh, I'll just sell the Gnar. Okay, nice. Made 20 gold from the Spoils of War. Losing this fight is really good as well, because I get straight gold. Perfect loss. Okay, I guess I'm just playing Lux carry. But the thing is, like, Lux without amount of items is pretty terrible. Like, even if it's Lux 2. I might could get Spoils of War gold here. Change positioning a little bit. Wanted, wanted to focus fire one target here in the middle. That's why I changed my unit's positioning here. Okay, I forget about Lux 2. I don't think it does anything. Still still living off RE1 for like yeah. It's okay. I make this work somehow. Where's the where's the other Ari? I mean, four lost streak those. I'm um, getting gold from Krugs here. Half of a crown guard. Another rod. That's really good. <laughs> you need rod in this comp. Or two. Another rod, maybe. Okay, another crow guard, maybe. I'm gonna wait to slam it first because, like, I still want to continue my loose streak here. Doesn't look like okay, my board's a little too good here. Two for one. I mean, this lets me hit the board a lot e a lot more easily. I think I'm good. Ba boom. Eh. Radiant Refactor. 
Radiant D, uh, Radiant, um, <laughs> Death Cup. Alright, let's go for this. Oh, here's RE2. Alright, Radiant, <laughs> Radiant Death Cap. I am committed to forcing this comp. This is also, like, the, the Radiant Death Cap gives me a lot of single target damage right now. Which is what I'm kind of looking for. Kind of my reasoning for taking this augment, so I can get a Radiant Death Cap. I've tried a bunch of different builds with the Loon reroll. I'm like, I'm just gonna try full AP, full full damage, or Invoker. Just gonna see how it works. Move my units over a little bit. Okay. Let's let's see. <laughs> I mean, the RE did a lot of damage in the previous round, so fifty percent bonus damage. Kongwa reroll. This is Kongwa two. This RE is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Okay, but she overkills and wastes her cast. So I don't have any mana items right now, but um, when I play Invokers, it'll fix that problem. There's no other rod. Let's go for JG. If rod gets taken, I'll take the Alune right here. Alright, what's everyone else playing? Story Weaver, Duelist, two for one. Okay, they have they have no combat arguments. Best friends, overwhelming force, looks like Kaisa. Aphelios. Illegal. Center reroll. Still I'm pretty sure this like overall is still better here. I'm not gonna make another current guard because I wanna make JG. Triple damage item for Invoker. Yeah, I mean Arcanist with Jeweled Lotus. Like what what is going on here? Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts so bad. Because of the, all the crits. This guy, I would put the items on R. The only thing is, like, I'm pretty sure this guy uses AP better. Alright, level 7, I'll start rolling for the board. Basically, you want the Umbral Champions, and you want Invokers. Two gold. I'll take it. Also, their their team is one star. So, wait, why am I getting so much gold? Did I just get 10 gold from that fight, or like 9, 8 or 9 gold from that fight? What is it? Okay, I'm not completing them, but... Let's actually just sell these right now. I 
Oh, let's play this for now. I was just looking for one. That works. All right, triple damage item. Now I can go for another crown guard. The problem is I don't know what to do with this bow. Also need a roll for two star. Is that the like really the only way to play a loon like full damage? Oh, that wasn't mine. I thought I thought that chest was mine. Trivorce. Teaming up. No. Hurry <laughs> up, later. Let's go for Trivorce. Full on, just forcing this cop. Like I, I, I do not care. I'm just forcing this cop. About to hit Yone 3 for absolutely no reason. Five Umbral. Alright, let's just play another Yone. I guess I'll just make Yone items. That's also another option. Titans, BT. Like, if I'm gonna be playing, playing with Triforce, like, I might as well, right? Like, forget about the Crown Guard. Like, it served its purpose. Chest. Five cost. Imagine if this was set. Okay, Volibear versus Yoni. And, uh, oh, okay. I think I need to start to read this. That's the roll for a juice star. Never mind. I'm gonna go level 8, roll an 8. Because I really want to find... Um, like, I really want to play for Invoker, because I have no mana item. Like, 2 Invoker I think helps a little bit, but not that much. Kogma player with no combat augments. Okay, this is Senna 2. Wait, isn't this actually kind of good? Um, like... Ch like, uh, Spoils of War plus full damage, and then, like, maybe farm some components or something. If I'm lucky. Bonus artifacts. There's a set. I'm not, probably not gonna get it though. Everything I wanted got taken. Um. Okay, Eternal Winter. This be annoying. There's no Yone player, right? I mean, I'm the Yone player this game, but I'm not playing Heavenly Yone, so, like, I get I get a pass, right? Copium. Alright, Eternal Winter. Let's just be annoying right now. 
Go level 8, play 4, Invoker. Hole Crusher on set. Uh, don't know about that one. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't like Hole Crusher as an item because it's just so weird. Like, don't position your units next to other ones for a really bad bonus. It's just like extra HP. I, I mean, like, maybe it's not bad, but it's just like kind of a boring item. I mean, like, get a free war mob because if you don't place anyone next to each other. But then, like, you can't use things like Redemption, unless you like position in a specific way, but like putting Hole Crusher on set is just like good luck. All right, did she kill some backliners? Let's, let's find out. Their team is really upgraded, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this fight was... Best friends and reunified. Everyone's super tanky. Thirty-seven HP. HP is still okay. So I'm gonna give her Lilia, Janna. Like, nobody else is playing a Luna on their board, so... Like, surely with a big roll down, I should be able to find 3-star, right? A free Yone. Nice. Lucky for Lilia. I guess I have to make a hurricane. <laughs> okay, one off, two off, Yone, Silas pair, Lilia pair. I'm gonna roll to zero next turn. One thing I did notice about this board is that it dumpsters Kogma boards pretty hard. So, right, that's not mine. But yeah, it, it deals with Kogma pretty easily. Alright, forget about 6 Umbral. And this also works. I think Jonah is more important. Okay, nice. 3 star. Yone, maybe. Nice, okay. Okay, this is my board. Four invoker, four arm roll. Radiant death cap, triple item, like triple AP item, a loon. Is it good? I also have Triforce, so. And then Yone with the triple item, three star. Like if this if this doesn't get me a top four, then just I don't know. This champion is terrible. Okay, I, I did blow up this person's board though, so. Giving me a little bit of hope. Arcanist versus Kogma.
What's the Arcanist player? Barely won. XP costs one less. I just spent all my gold. Why are you doing this to me, Riot? Okay, I think this is better if I... Uh... Okay, it's a Silas... I mean... Okay, whatever. Silas won. If I position Azir like this, Orin's gonna throw items on him. Or Annie, I guess. More frontline. I think I think what I really just need is frontline. Alright, let's go level nine. And just play sets. Like five umbral looks stupid, but it's also, okay, Annie is on the back line for some reason. She stunned one unit. Okay, that Alun- Okay, that Alun damage is... Pretty gross. The thing is, like, I got an uncontested Yone game. Like, when, when does that actually happen? And I'm not playing Yone, uh, Heavenly. I'm playing Umbral. Because I'm pretty sure... In a normal lobby... Or, like, in, like... Pretty much every game you play, you're gonna be running into like three Yoni players. And for some reason, I'm the only Yoni player here. Doesn't seem right to me. Um, a zero item. Let's go for a dodge of helm. Gives him some pretty good stats, AP, and all that other stuff. Actually, I kind of want to roll for Silas too, before I go 9. Okay. That works. I was going to sell the Yorick and buy it, but too late. Just wait till next turn. Okay, I get a free turn. Let's watch this fight here. Kogma versus Senna. Honestly, I would not recommend doing this. Kogma reroll with no combat augments. I mean, I, I don't recommend that in general. Like, or you don't take any combat augments. Frontline's upgraded. Okay, can this beat the standard Kaisa board? Alright, I guess this is Bruiser Kaisa. A little different, but let's see if it works. And if this can beat Kogmo board. Like, if, if this board beats my board, I'm gonna be kind of surprised because they have no common augments. I mean, they have upgrades, which does make sense, but if. If my board gets dumpstered here, I'm gonna be very confused. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I feel like... I don't know. Was it just because I was uncontested Yone? Maybe. Farm the components. Let's see if it could beat this. This player looks kind of scary. This is Duelist. No three stars. They are level 9 though. And center reroll. Azir. Azir items. Actually, wait. Let me let me spread my carries out. I think playing Azir and a Loon on the same side is not really that good of an idea. 
think I should position her here. Let's go for Orn 3. <laughs> okay. In the previous games I was playing, she was not one-shotting carries like this. So... Um... Maybe, maybe full damage is just the way to go. Maybe Shoujin is just absolutely trash on her. Because in the previous games, I was just playing with Shoujin. Maybe with Invoker, you just don't need Shoujin. Playing a center reroll. I'm gonna second row Yone. Throw them off a little bit. Like, I just don't want this guy to get, um, Zephyr. Like, Silas got Zephyr, who cares? Where is her back? <laughs> what about this player? Okay, Senna beat this board. Okay, 1v1. Reaper. It does help Yone. Alright, can this be can this board triple combat versus triple combat? Um can this beat this board? That's why now. I have Archangels and Radiant Deathcaps, so I'm assuming yes. As long as my frontline's good enough. I also have a Yone just being obnoxious. Fight's looking good. Okay, first place. Well, I successfully made a Loon Carry work after like six attempts. Okay, well. You've lost connection to our services, but anyway, uh, she is getting buffed next patch, so I don't know. Give it a try. Maybe she's going to be really good when the new patch drops. Who knows? But I finally made a loon carry work.